episode of yeah, that's right. I'm your Captain Edward Teach, and this is my vessel, the Queen Anne's Revenge, and we're going to be sailing the high seas today. Looking for what? Free plants. And how are we going to get them? Landscape debris pile. Yeah, that's right, guys. Today is landscape debris pickup day in our community, so we're going to sail around in our golf cart here looking for free plants. But we got to get going because somebody's out to get our plants. Who is it? The British Royal the British Royal Navy, a.k.a. the Waste Management Landscape Debris Trucks. They come along and just crush up all of our plants if we don't get to them first. So we're going to get going here, and when we get something good, we'll get back with you. All right, y'all, it's time to celebrate because we try to make it to the street every morning as early as we can. But the trucks seem to beat us to it. I don't know how, but they didn't this time, and we usually get good stuff off this road. So we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll get back with you if we get something. All right, we just rolled up on a giant vermilion right here. Nice red one. Definitely gonna take this. All right, we just rolled up on a pile of plumeria here. There's some with little leaves on it. Of course, we're in the middle of the winter, so it's hard to tell yeah. what kind of flower this has or anything, but we'll grab a couple pieces up anyways. Mm. All right, y'all, my spidey senses tell me there's something good around here, but I don't know where it is. The dolly. We'll have to keep looking. All right, we just rolled up on some giant pothos. Hey, li literally, of India? it is song of India. Yeah, so we got some. That that pothos might be too big to get. We're gonna get some of this little stuff. It's definitely song, song of, of India. India. Yeah, we'll grab this up. All right, here's some teeny little dracaena cuttings here. Looks like yeah. there's a whole bunch of them. Take some of those. All right, y'all, we just rolled up on 1992 here. A TV with a uh, built-in uh, VHS player. I haven't seen one of these forever and ever. Teddy didn't even know what it was, did you, bud? I actually thought that that was gonna be the screen. <laughs> the only TVs Teddy's ever seen are flat, so. The only TVs I've seen are that thin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there's a whole bunch of aloe plants under here. If you guys can see, there's probably like 20 of them. So we'll get one or two of them for sure. All right, Teddy just spotted that Dracaena right there. You want to grab it, kiddo? Yeah. Looks like they have some ginger in there, but I don't think we can root that ginger. We'll grab this up for sure. All right, we just rolled up on a whole bin of paddle cactus here. Those are some nice cuttings. It's even putting off new growth. So we'll get some of this. All right, Teddy just spotted that tea plant right there. You want to grab it, kiddo? Yeah. It's looks like looks really like there's pink. yeah looks like there's just one cutting, but it does look like a good uh, one. Oh yeah, just one. All right, cool. All right, y'all. We find everything on our adventures, including the kitchen sink. Actually, it looks like a good one, but we don't need it. All right, so we just rolled up on some kind of little vine that we don't have. I know we don't have that one. Blue looks, it's got roots on it too. We're we're definitely gonna take that. All right, we just rolled up on a whole bin of variegated Song of India. I gotta keep this little guy going crazy. I gotta keep him in the well, carpet. This stump. Yeah. All right, Teddy. Let's grab some of this up for sure. Now we have two kinds. Yeah. All right, we just came across some nice Dracaena cuttings here. Yeah. Ooh, there's next to some spiky uh, oh, date wow. palms branches. But let's go ahead and get these Dracaena cuttings. Yeah. All right, y'all, I don't know if you can see this, but we have our pick of washers and dryers on this street. There's one right there. It looks like there's a couple more up here. <laughs> Maybe we should start like in a, a used appliance store, eh, bud? Yeah. I bet you these all work. People just get new ones. Yeah. Look, there's another one. Man, we got our pick today. All right, y'all, just look at all the fruit on this prickly pear cactus. Oh my goodness. It's always like that. Yeah, it is. You can eat these fruits, but they have lots of little seeds in them. But they're delicious. They are good, yeah. You can just crunch the seeds. Yeah, they are good. But oh my gosh, look at all those fruits. All right, y'all, we just flew past this and Teddy said he has to have it. We oh, don't often, it. yeah, we don't often see a foot sticking out of a garbage can. So <laughs> we're going to have to get this. I don't know why, but we're, we're going to grab it up. in front of us. Oh wait, that's not the plant crushers. It's the trash guy. So we don't have to worry about them, right? Except our leg. Oh yeah, good thing we got the leg. <laughs> All right, 
Teddy spotted these green tea plants right here, and these are a prize. We grab these every time. You want to go get them, yeah. buddy? Last time I grabbed these, I got stuck by a caterpillar. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that was a crazy caterpillar. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, grab up one or two of those for sure, though. All right, we made it back to the house with our haul, didn't we? Yeah. I think Teddy's excited to show everybody. Why don't you hop out and show them? Hop out, hop out, kiddo. Hop out. Yeah. So we got a major award. Major award. Here it is. It's not complete yet. Yeah, it's not. So, yeah, if you guys haven't picked up on our reference to the Christmas story yet. But it's a major award. I won it. This is our major award now. Annalisa wouldn't let me use her fishnet stockings. I don't and, have fishnet stockings. <laughs> and, I don't, and we don't have a uh, lampshade because, guys, we have three small boys and table lamps and small boys don't go together no. very well so no, we, a, if we put a lampshade on this and set it all up yeah, it'll probably it'll get knocked over. have the same demise as yeah. the last one. i don't know this is a pretty beefy yeah i mean the one in the in the christmas story was, was like, like thin porcelain. fiberglass yeah the, i don't think uh i don't think annalisa will be able to break this one like the mom in the christmas story fragile it must be italian but, yeah i think it was porcelain in the story yeah it, it, it just, just shattered, shattered. yeah, yeah. But I don't know why we grabbed this, guys. Like I said earlier, we don't often see a foot sticking out of the trash, so we well, got I mean, it. Like, how cool would this look like on a fence? Make it like a fence post. <laughs> no comment. All right, let's. Uh... Hey, little guy, what are you doing? Okay, everybody wants to see the plants we got, so you got to let us show them, okay? So let's start. Now that we got the major award out of the way, what uh, what else have we got? Annalise hasn't seen anything here, so. Hey, we got this, a quarter line. Just... <clears throat> yeah, we got lots of Dracaena. This one is, uh, a lot of people call it the dragon tree. It's a cool one. It's got red tipped leaves. Oh, and like I think we got several this. of those. Oh, it's and here's the Marginata right here. Go ahead and put it down. So same with this one. This one has red tipped leaves too, but you can see the actual leaves kind of variegated compared to this one. So yes, we got a lot of Dracaena, mommy. yeah. Just... We got a lot of Dracaena. What's right there? Pull all the Dracaena out. There's some more right there. Yeah. Let's just get it all out right now. Yeah. All right, pull out the next. Yeah. And so both of these Dracaenas can be, you can just stick them right in the ground. They can be planted from cuttings right in the ground. Yeah, we have 100% success putting 100%, them right in the yeah. ground. Yeah. Same with this one. Yeah. The, yeah. the variegated, variegated song, of, song of, India. of India. This one, in fact, I'll show you guys over here. We grab this just to show everybody that you can root it from cuttings, but I have tons of these already going uh, right here in this little flat here. This isn't just one plant. This is one of these flats, probably like 16 plants in here, but I did these maybe four weeks ago we and they still those. look. We can plant those in there. Yeah, probably could. All right, what else we got? We got, oh, this. Yes, yeah, so uh, we don't have this one yet. I think this is a blushing philodendron. Uh, and it's, I think these leaves are full size on this one. Nice, uh, it's a pretty one. And it does have roots. Does it climb? I bet it looks you it like does. It does. They, I think they all climb. Here. Yeah. So, oh, and there's some more roots. Great. Oh yeah, there's some life so. in that. You want to go take care of him, sweetie, while we keep going here? All right, Teddy, what else you got in there? I'm just emptying out some of the All the song of India. This green tea plant. All right, yes, oh, Hawaiian roots. green tea. Oh, it does They have don't roots. need roots, but. Now look at this, guys. I think this was sitting in that pile for so long, you can see it just rooted. This cutting just rooted. And this is another one we've had 100% success rate with, so. Okay, now here's some just song of India. Not yep. Very yep. Just green song of India right here. We actually find the variegated kind more frequently yeah. than this kind. Um, but both of these are tough plants. They will root from cuttings. Here's just some more. Some more. Okay, next is aloe. Nice. I think we grabbed a couple of these. Yeah, yeah it's we sharp. grabbed Be careful. two. Nice, and this one has a uh, nice root, not, not root ball, but a nice root on it. 
taproot, I guess. This one doesn't have as good of a one, but good of a root, but this will still survive if you stick it in the ground. Uh, do we have, no, we have another kind of aloe flowering right now. But those have three <coughs> flowers. Okay, here's a tea plant. Uh, just a, I think this is a that's, red sister. Yeah, that's the red sister. We usually get more tea plant cuttings than we did this week, but uh, this is another one you can just stick right in the ground. Now the red sister tea plant, uh, we don't have quite as good of, of a success rate as we do like these green tea plants. This one right here, they always, always work for us. Yeah. Another thing I'll say too is that the red sister tea plant is not as um, pretty as a lot of the other ones. Like the, they just always look a little brown, like they have like brown leaves almost all the time. Even the established ones. That is the most popular one that we see for sale yeah. at, at the but big box the, garden the stores. The green ones are like super lush and thick. Yeah, and this is one we never see anywhere for sale. No. Um, now, all right, what else you got, kiddo? Let's get to the theme of what is roots from cutting. Yeah, Where? so we grabbed these plumeria, and actually, they actually have little leaves on them right now. We're in the middle of winter here, um, and in central Florida, most plumeria lose their leaves over the winter, unless you have it in like a real uh sunny hot spot uh, maybe like if we have one planted up against the house right here or something that the heat from that wall might keep the leaves on it all year long but for the most part they that's one of the few plants we have down here that loses its leaves mm -hmm. so all right we got this nice paddle cactus here and you guys can see this paddle cactus is already putting off new growth yeah like on these lobes right here so Oh, look at that one. Yeah, I know. And this Those is another so one. You don't need roots on this. You can stick this right in the ground. You can actually just cut one of these lobes off and stick it in the ground. You can even yeah. cut these lobes in half and stick the halves in the ground. Yeah, they'll And they will out. root, so. Here's pothos. All right, yep. Teddy's got, he's got more Dracaena right there, but the pothos came out with it. The giant golden pothos. So these leaves will get way bigger than that. Oh, yeah, yeah they get They're like, like dinner plates. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we have. We got quite a spread so much so far. I mean, yeah. all right, we got a giant red bromeliad here. Nice. You can just like drop them on the ground and they. We already have this one. We actually have these planted in our pool area. They're a great plant to plant poolside. They don't drop any foliage really, or um, also because some people are concerned that that the uh, because the bromeliads hold water in their little cups that. Um, that they could breed mosquitoes, but we haven't really seen an increase in mosquitoes in our yard. And we've planted a lot of bromeliads since we've lived here. So I honestly think if you plant these things in the sun, the water heats up so much in the, inside of them that it kills the larvae, so. Yeah, I don't think that it adds any mosquitoes. Yeah, I don't think so either. But. All right, is that it? Yeah. All right, so cool. We got, a, uh, we got a quite a variety today. We got one new plant, which is always exciting. I, I like to try and get one new plant every week. The, good, the green tea um, plant, um, we collected a yeah, lot from. And this one even has roots on it. From this, but um, it's a rare one. So but I mean, let's face that. it, I think, guys, the prize of the day is the major award right there. Yeah, look at it's it. It's going in my room. I think it might be a man's leg. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have a manly, hairy. Yo, there we go. New. When the kids are acting like butts, they're going to get kicked ask, with it. Don't ask for the leg. <laughs> All right, anyways, y'all, if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today, just post down below. If you uh, enjoyed our little adventure, maybe consider subscribing to our channel. And if they don't, what's going to happen, bud? You're going to get kicked by that. Oh, you're going to get kicked by our new mannequin leg, and trust me, that thing's pretty sturdy. You don't want that to happen. So maybe just consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.